The Reserve Bank of India has put Lakshmi Vilas Bank under its prompt corrective action framework. This comes at a time when the lender is looking to merge its operations with India Bulls Housing Finance. Shefali Malik is here to tell us what prompted the banking regulator to take this action and are people talking about the side implications of such a move. Shefali, good morning. Hi, good morning. First of all, Neeraj, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so basically what prompted the RBI, it's basically breaching of a couple of thresholds. So RBI does has, uh, you know, a couple of thresholds, one, two, three, uh, for various parameters, NPAs, capital levels, leverage, etc. So Lakshmi Vilas Bank has uh, breached a couple of them. So starting with net NPA levels, it was about 8.3%. So that breaks the threshold one, which is that net NPAs have to be more than 6%, but less than 9%. And and um, uh, so, uh, and uh, in capital adequacy ratio is 6.46 percent, and uh, the net, uh, sorry, the negative return on uh, assets was about 2.72 uh, percent. So RBI monitors that for a period of two years. So for them, it has been for a period of two years that it has been in negative. So that is one of the um, parameters uh, which you know the bank has not been able to meet. Other than that, there's also a um, concept of leverage, which is a multiple of tier one. So uh, that is also uh, that has also been considered by Reserve Bank of India and the bank reported a loss and they've been in a very weak position since quite some time and, uh, and that brings us to the aspect of merger I remember in uh, one of the earlier con calls in Bulls housing finance said that you know uh, that when they were being um, you know questioned about the uh, the merger prospects and you know how confident they are about the merger going through so one of the things that they said were that uh, uh, you know Lakshmi Vilas Bank is as it is in a weak position RBI has been going all out to fix the weak banks so uh, so they were pinning their hopes on that but probably because it's weak so RBI may come in you know and may give a nod just because you know in an attempt to fix the bank so it has been weak we saw that in the uh, earlier results as well what has changed in last two months uh, since the July earnings so that is something uh, one of the uh, wordings in the release that Lakshmi Vilas Bank sent out was mm. that you know there was an on-ground inspection as well so probably more might have come to the notice of Reserve Bank of India um, for, you know because of which it initiated this PCA framework so that's that and whether it has an implication from the uh, merger uh, point of view so it was already weak and uh, so it was already being considered so I'm sure right now there are a lot more scrutinies going on so that is something that we'll that we'll have to you know watch out for. Yeah. Now, I was just wondering if uh, any, uh, within your analysis parameters or if you spoke to any of the brokerages or other analysts, did they believe that this move in effect, uh, irrespective of what may actually happen or eventually happen, would lead people to believe that, um, you know, that maybe all is not well with the merger going through as well and it might have an impact on both the stocks in the session today or over the course of the next few days? Uh, well, uh, as for my interactions, probably what some of them pointed out were some of them said that it may not have an impact because they already we already knew that bank is in a weak position. Some of them said that now you know that it has been initiated. Probably RBI may want to wait and watch for some time whether the bank is able to fix itself in uh, some time. They had plans to raise funds as well. So I don't know if it leads to some sort of a delay in in the process. So from uh, India Bulls point of view, yes, it may have uh, some in impact because if there are some thoughts going on that you know probably there could be some delay then it will have a negative impact to that extent.